Last night I had a dream that Biden was sitting on a park bench waiting for the big game. Trump came in late and sauntered up to the bar to wait for the big game. I saw people in a camper getting ready for the big game. People on one side of the camper were stocking up so much food and supplies that people on the other side of the camper were getting angry. I saw an older lady trying to find an open door. She had her shower cap and underclothing on and had just bathed or showered but was not fully dressed yet. She still needed to finish getting ready for the big game. While the older lady had been sprinkled or immersed in water, the camper being to her like a great cathedral where one could be baptized, she still needed to be clothed in the king's team colors. For it is the shed blood of Jesus that makes us spiritually clean, not baptism in water. Jesus is the open door. Jesus is the way to be saved. In my dream, the lady, whose name meant God is gracious, found the open door. For by grace are ye saved through faith. It is a gift of God, not by works, lest anyone should boast. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, that whosoever believeth in him will not perish, but will have everlasting life and will be on the victorious team. Praise the Lord. For we fix our eyes not on what is temporary, but on what is eternal. For we know that if the earthly tent or camper, you might say, we live in is destroyed, we have a building from God, a permanent eternal house. A home in heaven, not built by human hands, a lasting home. Meanwhile, we groan in our burden, longing to be clothed with our heavenly dwelling, so that what is mortal may be swallowed up by life. Now the one who has fashioned us for this purpose is God, who has given us the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, as a deposit, guaranteeing what is to come. In my dream, I saw a bridegroom closing the camper, shutting it down, locking it up, closing it up. That had been like a cathedral, like a church to the older lady, for Christ is the bridegroom of the church, and we, his bride, will be with him forever in eternity. In my dream, I saw myself dressed in a red dress for the game, knowing I was on the king's team and that I had made the finals the cheerleading finals, perhaps, an encourager on the king's team to the very end. However, I realized that my black high heels weren't the right choice for the game. I needed to change into my clean white tennis shoes. Even members of the king's team get their feet dirty with sin sometimes. But that doesn't mean we are kicked off the team. We are already completely clean, and Jesus will wash our feet as often as we come to him and as often as we trip and fall. For John 13, 10 says, The one who has bathed does not need to wash, except for his feet, but is completely clean. Spiritually, Jesus cleans us, but we are completely clean and saved when we are already on the the king's team. We are sanctified and being sanctified. Praise the Lord. In my dream, not only did I put on appropriate clean shoes, I put on comfortable, relaxed denim. As the Love by the King channel used to describe, denim can be a symbol of God's grace for relaxing in, for resting in, and for comfortably working in. For 2 Corinthians 9, 8 says, And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work. Nevertheless, in a dream a few days ago, I saw a white car stalled, representing, I believe, me trying to get back again, back on my feet again, get going again after last week's trip to the hospital, for I do struggle with my health. Our trials of various kinds test our faith and produce steadfastness and perseverance and make us mature and complete. And right after I saw that white car stall, I saw myself going around it, flying up into the air over beautiful blue scenery. Many colorful colors were in the scene. First Thessalonians 4, 16 to 18 says, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, 
with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I think I said archangel. Archangel. (laughs) We are perfect in Christ, yet we are still being perfected in Christ. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.